Hey everyone, this is OJ here. Welcome to another episode of Crypto Corner. Today I'm going to show you how to claim your free Tron tokens if you've had any Ethereum in, uh, in your own Ethereum wallet since the 1st of January 2018. You would probably have received some free Tron because they just did an airdrop. So stay tuned, I'm going to show you what you need to do. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, first, let me explain what exactly is this airdrop about, how did it come about, you know, and, and whether it's a genuine one, because there's so many fake websites and, uh, and scam websites that are announcing airdrops only to get people's um, wallet addresses, private keys, uh, sometimes, m many times, they're asking you to send a small amount of uh, Ethereum or, or another currency in order to get a free airdrop. That is always bad news. This is always a scam, so don't fall for any of these. Um, usually when there, there is a genuine airdrop, you don't really need to do anything besides claiming it, perhaps, so just be aware of this airdrop. And, and Tron surprised many people because they announced it in their own blogs and to their own community, but it wasn't widely publicized. Now, um, this is their own Reddit channel, so this is an official announcement here. And uh, this is what it says. The Tron airdrop is for Ethereum holders who have a balance of at least one Ethereum on April the 20th, 2018, which corresponds to block 5,471,198. And uh, users on the Ethereum blockchain who send or receive Ethereum between January the 1st, 2018 and April the 20th, meaning that these wallets are in fact active. They're not just uh, archived wallets, but they're being active wallets. So these are the requirements. You need to have hold at least one Ethereum until the 20th of April in that wallet. And you need to have made some transactions between the beginning of this year and 20th of April so that this wallet is actually active. It means if you have a wallet that contains at least one Ethereum during this time or if you have an address that sent or received Ethereum from the 1st of January to the 20th of April, you will be ultimately eligible for this airdrop. So what do you need to do? If you are holding your coins on my other wallet and you know that you're not actually holding your coins in the wall in these wallets these are just clients that are connecting you to the blockchain your coins are on the blockchain so what you would really need to do is um, you would need to go into your wallet info and uh, find the tokens in there if you're using my other wallet then you would have to just log in now if you're holding your coins in wallets like exodus or jacks I have another video where I'm explaining how to grab your private key because the easiest way for you will be to just come here and click on private key and then log in with your private key so that you can actually find these tokens here because you will not be able to do it in Exodus or JAX. They are not supporting Tron at the moment. So you will have to make the claim yourself. Uh, you don't have to do anything to receive the Tron tokens, but you need to do something in order to claim them, in order to move them from your wallet into the exchange or into your own dedicated Tron wallet, whatever you're using. Now, how many Tron you would receive? Don't expect anything too big. I must say, um, I received in a few different wallets um, different amounts. And also, uh, it's funny that my wallet with the biggest amount of Ethereum had a very small amount of Tron dropped and uh, another wallet that I have with a very small amount of Ethereum had a much larger, like twice the amount of Tron dropped in there. And it could be because of the way I was interacting with these wallets, maybe the ones that I made more transactions from are the ones that got more Tron being dropped in there. Uh, so it is not about the amount you hold but it's, uh, it's about how active that wallet was. So it, it could be a completely random amount. From what I gathered from my research, uh, it wasn't a fixed amount of Tron that they were dropping to different wallets. It was uh, a little bit more random. In any case, uh, this is a free airdrop for you. You're getting free Tron and you can go on Binance and you can start trading it straight away or you can hold it for a little longer, wait for the price to go up a little bit, make a bit of an extra profit. Okay, so let's assume that you have already got your private key 
and um, if you are using ledger by the way i'm gonna also show you what you need to do with ledger wallet because you can synchronize ledger with my other wallet also um, this is my other wallet but um, i'm also using my crypto which is um, practically the same as my other wallet it is one of the key developers from my other wallet that uh, basically separated uh, from the team and uh, decided to do her own thing and it's called mycrypto.com it is exactly the same functionality as my other wallet but it's slightly cleaner interface and i i do prefer it so for this tutorial i will be using my crypto bear in mind it does exactly the same job as my other wallet the reason why i am avoiding my other wallet it's because it's it's uh, getting a lot of hacking attacks and things so um, for the time being i'm using mycrypto.com okay so what i'm doing here first of all i have already copied my wallet addresses private keys and public keys from my jacks again i have a video about this so if you don't know how to do it just check out my video it is linked here um it's also in the description below this video okay so let's get started first i'm going to be using this tool this is the ethereum tokens explorer one of them it's called explorer.io i will have this linked as well below the video uh, this is where i'm going to be checking my addresses to see what kind of tokens i have in them before i go and start the whole process of moving tokens this is the document with my public and private keys the public key public address is the shorter one and the private address is the longer one so let's copy this public address and i will go here and as we can see i have some tokens here but i don't have any tron that is because i've already moved the tron from this address i can move on to the next one i'm copying the next one and I'm going to come here on this page and I will investigate here. Okay, I do have a few other tokens again, but I don't have any Tron. So now that I know that I have these tokens, I would want to go and move them. I will need to have some Ethereum though, because currently my balance is zero. And when you're doing any kind of transaction from these wallets, you need to have a little bit of ethereum in order to cover the fee because you know there is gas that is needed for every transaction on the ethereum blockchain even if it's other tokens so this is why um you need to first make sure that you have a little bit of ethereum before you go and claim this and and move your tron tokens so if you have tron it will be listed here in this list of token balances and it will show you how many tron you have once you see that, you will go to my other wallet or mycrypto.com and you will select to log in with your private key. This is why I've copied my private and public keys. So for this address, let me copy my private key. I will come here, I will paste it and I will go to unlock it. Okay. And it's showing me that I currently have zero Ethereum. Let me hide my camera again. And here is where I can see all of the tokens. And this is why I'm using the other two, because look at that list. It is absolutely overwhelming. There are tons of tokens here. And uh, if you start checking for each of these, it will take you quite some time. So the easiest way to do it is to go here and see. So I've got OMG tokens, I've got Xenon and a few other ones. Let's go one by one first. I'm going to go to OMG. And you need to do that. When you have Tron, you will need to go here and you will need to find it. Because if you want to move it right now, I'm only getting the option to use Ethereum. I don't get the option to select any tokens right so this is why i'm going here and i will find omg i will click on this to load and it's going to show me that i have 0 0.55 omg so i have half of omg and if i want to move it to another wallet maybe to an exchange because i'm trading it i will click here now i have the option to select omg 
I can use the entire balance and here I will have to paste the address that I want to send it to. Again, I will need to have some Ethereum. Currently I have zero, which means that this transaction will not happen. I will not be able to initiate the transaction because I don't have enough Ethereum to pay for the transaction. And you know, there is a gas that I need to pay. It's the fee. So once I send some Ethereum to this address, to this wallet address it's an ethereum wallet address i will and i need to send something like 0 0.005 or something or maybe even less and then i'll be able to generate the transaction i will enter the address here i will click on generate transaction and i will be able to do it right now i can't do it because i don't have enough balance okay now let's uh, find the other token this is drawn here I don't have any because I've already moved them from this wallet uh, but I do have another token called Xenon so let's go and find that one okay and there you go so I have 618 XNN and now if I want to move that I would need to find out where it's being traded and if it's being traded on any of the platforms that I'm using any of the trading platforms that I'm using so let's go here and type Xenon and now I'm gonna check the market and unfortunately it's not on any of the exchanges that I'm using so for the time being I will be keeping that uh, token in this wallet it will stay there all I'll have to do is just remember that I have this token because sooner or later it will be added on one of the other exchanges so as soon as I see it being added to an exchange that I'm using I will go into this wallet and I will move that token from there send it to the exchange and trade it it is the same thing with Tron I just moved my Tron to Binance and I started trading it and if you're not a customer of Binance yet use my link from below the video they have some of the best choice of coins and it's currently the top exchange for cryptocurrencies so you really want to be a client of Binance you should okay so um, this is pretty much the process there's nothing else that you need to do in order to move your tokens you just need to find it here in the list once you find it in the list it will be also listed here so now you can select the token and you can use the entire balance and you can go and send it to a different wallet address or to an exchange if you're using ledger and uh, you know with uh, ledger you have two ways to store your ethereum and the tokens you can access um, ledger through my other wallet or mycrypto.com and ledger also have their own native application that is a standalone application it's an extension for chrome and this is how you can also store your ethereum tokens you can access your ethereum tokens without having to use this website however if you want to find the tron tokens you will need this website or my other wallet one of the two because this is where you can see all of the tokens that are available on the ethereum blockchain ledger only supports some of them so even if you were using the standalone application of ledger you can still synchronize it with this here and you can access your tokens and this way you can still move the tokens this is what i did earlier so what you need to do here is you need to click on synchronizing it with ledger but also on your device you will need to go into the settings of the ethereum wallet and uh, you will need to go to the settings of your ethereum wallet then you will be selecting browser support you will have to click yes with both buttons then you go up contact data also go into this one select yes because this is how you can actually make the transaction otherwise you will be getting an error and uh, and that's it now you can access your ledger wallet you just go here connect to ledger wallet and you can see your addresses so you can just open them one by one you go to unlock currently you can see that I have zero um, and also what I need to what, what I can do now instead of going through the tokens and looking for them one by one I'm gonna copy my public address and I will go here again and 
I would make a search, I can see now that I have zero token balances. This is because I haven't used this Ledger wallet in quite a while. This is uh, my Ledger device that I'm using just for tutorials, so I don't really store coins in here. That's why I'm not surprised to see that there's no tokens. But um, you would definitely have some tokens if you have been using this device and if you hold uh, at least one Ethereum since January this year, until April. So this is the process guys, I hope it's not too complicated, I try to make it simple for you and um, also if you are going to be using your private keys to unlock wallets and all of that sensitive data, make sure that you have this tool here, this is an extension for Chrome, it's called Kryptonite by Metacert and it's um, for most of the uh, exchanges and, uh, and wallets, you know, crypto related websites, it's uh, basically showing green when the website is clean and uh, if this is black or it's it's not responding then the website could be fished so it's very important that you have this tool and always make sure that it's on and it's green when you're on these websites i have the links for all of these websites below the video so make sure that you grab them straight from there instead of doing a search because this is how you can come across a fished a fake website Okay, well, this is everything for today, guys. I hope this is helping you. And if it does, give me the thumbs up and share the video with other people. Uh, if you have any comments or anything you want to add to this, please feel free to leave a comment below the video as well. And also, if you are subscribed to the channel, you may not get notifications when I'm posting new videos because now YouTube changed algorithms again and you need to click that bell button next to the subscribe button. So make sure that you do that as well. Thanks for watching until the end, guys, and I'm going to see you in the next one.